Classic Hits 99.7 KFRC. It is Journey 552 A's Lose. And uh, we've got sunshine today. It's going to be hot. Highs in the hundreds. It's going to be very, very nice. So there is a bad boss contest going on. And where's the website, Skippy? It's workingamerica.org. Workingamerica.org. It's an AFL-CIO affiliate or something like that. And you can win a week's vacation, but you have to tell a story about your bad boss. Right. <laughs> it's better have... be after you've already been fired, maybe not your current boss. Because yeah. it'd be on that permanent <laughs> vacation. <laughs> That's yeah, true. Keep yourself anonymous. Oh, I had a bad boss in Los Angeles. What happened? He was absolutely a terrorist. And there was a happy ending, though. The way he was fired. What one happened? Of the, one of the best ways I've ever heard. The man pulls in to the parking lot at work, and his desk is in his parking space. Oh. <laughs> that was clever. Very good. That's how he found out. <laughs> and he no longer was your bad boss. No longer. He became somebody else's bad boss. The boss from hell. Likely. Yeah. Oh, Very good. True story, though. <laughs> I'm Tom Shane. And when asked what makes... Classic Hits, 99.7 KFRC. Good morning. It is 614, first day of summer. A lot of sunshine today, and it's going to be hot. 100 expected inland Walnut Creek area. So, uh, As it should be on the first day of summer. Yeah, absolutely. It should be hot. It's here. It's good. Speaking of hot World Cup soccer, people are getting crazy. Well... Not, I don't think here in this country. Well, I think so. <laughs> but in Europe, they are. There's a lot of folks rallying around uh, TVs. You go into lots of uh, restaurants and, and bars, and they're there. I went to, uh, to watch the USA Italy match on Saturday at a bar, and it was packed. Can you move? And it yeah. was packed. Yeah. It was yeah. jam packed. So we thought maybe we'd have a little fun this morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to play soccer player or plate of food soccer player or plate of food soccer player or plate of food <laughs> so we're only we only really get into soccer once every 4 years yes. in this country with the world cup and we need to let folks know some of the players that are out there for other countries exactly we can you really name any of the players yeah. i don't think any of us can let's not even quick, on the american team let's do a quick test run a quick here. test of it so- okay. soccer player or plate of food liz you're going to be on this too okay I'm here. This okay. is how it works. Bubakar Berry. Bubakar <laughs> Bubakar Berry. Bubakar Berry. Liz, soccer player or plate of food? See, I think that's a drink. So I'm get, yeah. I'll, I'll go with food. Yeah. I'm, okay, I'm, you're going yeah. food. Some sort of smoothie. Mark Nieto, you're, you're going food? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say... I'm going to say player. The correct answer is player, yes. Oh, fantastic. Thank you very much. Soccer player from the Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast. All right. So call us at 888-456-KFRC. We have tickets for the Mountain Winery, and uh, we'll do it next year. 99.7 KFRC, the Bay Area's classic hits, 623. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to play. Soccer player, player or, or plate, plate of food. food. And we have someone on the line, I believe. You want to play soccer player or plate of food? Yeah. All right, what is your name? My name's Dominic. That's All right, Dominic. Listen yeah. closely. Okay. Bottenjan Zalud. Uh, what was it again? <laughs> Bottenjan <laughs> Zalud. Soccer player or plate of food? Soccer player. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. It's a plate of food. It's salad and eggplant. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, try again. Thank you very much. Hi, KFRC. Hello? I'll uh, play that game. Yes. Soccer player or plate of food? Give it to us. Jihoon Baek. Jihoon Baek. Soccer player or plate of food? That's a soccer player. Yes, it, it is. is. South Korea. Korea. Yeah. Oh. Congratulations, you've just won. <laughs> Donna Summer tickets at the Mountain Winery in Saratoga, Wednesday, okay. June, June 28th. Pick up tickets at Ticketmaster.com. But you got it for playing soccer player or plate of food. All right, let's do it. 99.7 KFRC, the Bay Area's classic hits. Man, it's going to be hot today. All right. Well, I'm batching it this week. My wife's out of town, and uh, I have some bachelor issues we'll discuss coming up here. But first, let's get to news. And uh, Liz St. John, good morning. Good morning. It is Classic hits, 99.7 KFRC at 639. Sunny today, first day of summer. It's going to be hot, hot, hot. Highs in the hundreds inland. My wife's been out of town. Good thing or a bad thing? Well, it's okay. It's a quiet house, and I okay. get to watch sports. Terry puts it up. Won't go. Rebound Wade. Yeah, yes. Yeah. NBA basketball now over. Then yeah. joined uh, hockey 
as uh, NHL hockey is going by the wayside this right. week. And I got to watch it uninterrupted, high definition, on my own TV, <laughs> just sitting there. It was so great. Nobody's scrambling for the remote control. It was just all you. But my wife is going to, when she gets back, she's going to be upset. Because she always plans these little meals for me. She goes, okay, here's a meal you can make. You know, warm up uh, the spaghetti, put this in there, and put that in, and yep. here's some pre-made salad. It's all done, but I always just have a bowl of cereal. I get lazy. I won't do it. You won't even put stuff in the microwave? I won't do it. <laughs> or I'll go down and you know, go eat somewhere else, but I just won't fix myself a meal when it's all by myself. And I don't like going to a, a, a restaurant when it's just me by myself. Yeah. Now, my week, my wife goes away for the weekend. Yeah. I get nothing. Fend for yourself. So, oh really? Uh, yeah. So I do a lot of restaurant stuff because <laughs> I hate to cook. So, ah. uh, but so I'm the same way. I mean, I'm I'm lazy. When you know, I, I, don't, I, I don't. Why do is stuff. that about guys? You should have Aaron come over when your wife's out of town. Aaron's a good cook. Yeah, I can make a really good quesadilla. Oh, that's too gay. Yeah, we'll have, <laughs> we'll have a beer dinner, Aaron. Is what we'll have. For that. A beer dinner. That's what it'll oh, be. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what it is with guys, but we just get that way. All right, let's check traffic. 642 KFRC. Good morning, Liz. Good morning. Let's go right back to... Classic Hits 99.7 KFRC at 653. Sunny and warm today. So good. And I'm batching it this week because my wife's out of town down in San Diego going to graduation of uh, niece. Does your appearance slide, by the way? Do you start slumping around the, the house in your bathrobe? Oh, totally. Boxes? Oh, yeah. You just yeah. look like uh, a slob. Oh, yeah. You don't that's, look as well-dressed as you okay. normally are. Oh, that's true, too. <laughs> I yeah. mean, yeah. All right. Does she dress you also? <laughs> no, actually, she makes these little prepared meals, and then she says, just warm them up, put them in there, it's all set for you. That's and very nice of her. I know. I mean, she goes out of her way to do that, and then you don't even put them in the microwave for That's her. That's right. I don't, I don't do it. I just go for the cereal or the bowl of oats. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I get lazy. Guys get lazy when they batch it. Am I the only one? My husband would live on cereal and macaroni and cheese. Yeah, why is that? Guys just do that. I have no idea. You know, it's very nutritious. <laughs> It really when I, is. When I met him 11 years ago, I asked him, so you know how to cook? And he said, oh, yeah, I can cook, until I found out he cooks out of a box. <laughs> Somewhere in the world. 99.7 KFRC, the Bay Area's classic hits. It is 732. Dean, Mark, and Liz. <laughs> and in a moment, we'll be chatting with a former president <laughs> That's right. on TV. Right. Yeah, Gina Davis will be chatting with us right here at KFRC. So stay close. Also, we'll probably play soccer player or plate of food with her. Good morning. You're a member of Mensa, right? Yep. What do you do at Mensa meetings? You know, I'd explain, but it's just, it's such smart stuff. Yeah. And, and it would be over your head, Dean. I, you know, <laughs> it already is. <laughs> I just don't know if you'd really get it. <laughs> Uh, hey. Actually, to be honest, I have never been to, to a Mensa meeting. I really, I don't know what they do. <laughs> yeah. well, maybe they do really smart stuff that I wouldn't know what they're doing. I don't uh, know. We're with actress Gina Davis now. Earlier in the show, we've been playing a game called Soccer Player or Plate of Food. And we'd like to play that with you right now. <laughs> uh <clears throat> Wait, do I choose one of those things? Well, we're, we're going to give you a, a, a name, and you have to say, is it a soccer player or a plate of food? Oh, God, okay. You know, wor World Cup fever is going on all yeah. over. So, oh. Aaron, Aaron, give give us uh, a soccer player or plate of food. Okay, Gina. Tajine Alaham Felfla Matisha. That's a, a name. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. That's, 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 that's actually a plate of food. It's Moroccan, food. isn't it? It is. It's lamb with tomatoes and green peppers. <laughs> As a Mets member, we thought you would just know the answer. Yes, we figured. Album, but, yeah. <laughs> Classic Hits, 99.7 KFRC. Good to have you on the first day of summer. It's going to be hot for the next couple of days. 100, and then cooling down to about mid-90s. One of these nights... I might date that guy again if he doesn't use a coupon. Oh, Is that yes. what your friend is thinking? Well, I don't. She, she was still up in the air as to whether she would date the guy again. But he did use a coupon on the first date. And is that tacky or not? And you had a comment? I am so much the guy on this coupon thing. Come on now. I, how many times have I been out on a date where the woman orders the primary, I order the steak, she has a third glass of wine, I have one, and I made all the plans, and, go, and she's going to complain that I use a coupon to save a couple of bucks? Oh, my God, lighten up. <laughs> and if this is her first date out, maybe she needs to get out on a few more dates and have some guys crap on her. Right. Oh, I appreciate oh, it. Yeah. Well, Thanks. at least you're handling it all well. You're not bitter or anything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, not bitter. <laughs> Thank you, man. Hi, KFRC. Hello. The coupon? Yes. I think it's great. It's 
he's unpretentious and uninhibited, and maybe he's on a budget, maybe he's got child support, but he's not a phony baloney. Hi, KFRC, hello. No, I'm all for the coupon. I bought that coupon book that they have in the East Bay for 25 bucks, <laughs> and I bought it specifically to go out on dates. Now, he could have been sly and walked away with the check and used the coupon on that letter C. But, you know, when you're on the dating scene, if I can cut it in half, baby, I'm cutting it in half. There you go. Thank you for the calls at 888-456-KFRC. 